Hi everyone, I've got um, another bike in for a project. This was another one that was uh, donated to me. Uh, it's a Rally Max. I've actually got one exactly like this down in the shed. Although I've got different bar ends on mine. Um, and my other one's in far better condition. This one's actually rather filthy and it's showing it's been well used. Um, but there's only one major repair. There's a couple of um, tune-ups I've got to do. Like I don't think... I haven't actually tried the rear gears properly, but the cable, when I did try it, seems to be a bit sticky. But a bit of WD-40 down the cable should rectify that problem. Uh, but the biggest issue is with the bottom bracket. Look at this. They're not supposed to do that, and these are all seized up as well, where it's been sitting around. So what I've got to do is take off the crank set, which is that bit and the bit on the other side, and then try to get the bottom bracket here off and replace the bearings. But I can't do that until after Thursday, because uh, I need to get the bearings for that. I don't have any. I've probably got some old ones kicking around, but... To be honest, you might, for the sake of like £2.50, you might as well just put brand new ones in. So I don't really know why I keep them, to be honest. So uh, that will be an upcoming video. I will show you how to do that. Probably one of the more complicated jobs on a bike. Just for the simple fact you've got to battle getting the cranks off and then you've got to battle getting the bottom bracket off. And I say battle because sometimes they can be a right pain in the ass. And uh, it does make changing brake cables and gear cables look easy. Because <laughs> they are in comparison. Um, I'm going to change the front tire just because I don't like that one. It's not really a mountain bike tyre, it's like what they call a hybrid tyre. Yeah, but other than that, it does seem to be in working order. I mean, both tyres were flat as a pancake. I can't get that. Well, actually, the front tyre isn't flat, but it is really low. But uh, I can't get the dust cap off. Back one was totally flat, but I've pumped that up last night and it's holding air, so... It must have gone flat just from sitting around for so long. Let us show us how long. That is a, actually a flat tire is a good indication to how long a bike has been sitting. And in fact, the front one is nearly flat. Not quite. It's not rideable as it is. There's just enough air, as you can see, to support it. But if I go over and squeeze that, I could pretty much squeeze the tire down to the rim because there's not a lot in there. And just enough to hold the weight of the front of the bike. Um, because over time, tyres do go flat, which is why you've got to keep the um, pressures topped up, including on your cars. And, uh, well, any mo anything with a pneumatic tyre, basically, has got to have its tyre pressures checked regularly. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's a lot. I, don't, I think that's the only major repair on this one, which is quite good, because I can do a proper video of it. Which is what I plan to do, you know. None of these videos, what I've done in the past with the camera on the tripod, you know, somewhere over there. I just want to, I'm going to bring it in up close and uh, show you that you don't need no fancy smancy bike stand either just to do this. It would make life easier if you had a bike stand, work stand, but I got rid of mine because I just haven't got the room up here. It's just... I've got the room to sort of stand it in this bedroom, but then I don't have the room to work around it, so. Um, but you don't really need a bike stand. Not if you're just going to repair your bike once every so often. If you're going to, you know, service or repair your bike on a regular basis, or you're doing it for like a, a side hobby or something, or for a business, then yeah, you'll want a stand, but not for this. I'll show you. I'll show you. So anyway, I just want to do a short video. 
just to show you I've got another bike and got another one down in the shed and uh, yeah plenty to fix up anyway thanks a lot for watching I'll talk to you in the next video bye bye